Hello, Paul Lesbo here, and we are from Indonesia. We joining RCAP Cospest Rescue Challenge U19 by Virtual in RoboCup Asia Pacific 2021 AG Japan. First, let me introduce my team, and my name is Alfiko Permana Putra Darwis. As a captain and strategy analyst, I just competed in it Magpot 2021. I got third place in Transporter Robo. And my partner is Mohamed Nawfal Alfarize as a programmer. He just competed in KRI 2021 thematic robot. It's the biggest competition of robotics in Indonesia. He got third place national competition and we are student of robotics at AI Erlangga University. So in this competition, we divide into two jobs. The first job is strategy analyst and the second job is programmer. As a strategy analyst, I have to help identify what the robot needs with the map and write and improve the strategy. And as a programmer, a uh, programmer has to realize strategy from strategic analyst and realize all the sensor of the robot works together and compile the strategy using GUI and C code. So let's continue to problem, method, and result. So the problem number one is avoid the trap zone. As we can see from the video, we have to avoid the yellow color and Method we use is using the color sensor to make the robot stop, then turning with the proper speed, so the result the robot did not enter the trap zone and can get out from the zone without wasting time. So the problem number two is we have to avoid the obstacle. Method we use use the ultrasonic sensor with effective movement, so the result the robot did not hit the obstacle and keep moving effectively. From my analysis, we broke down the game into the three challenge mission. The challenge number one is move effectively. The challenge number two is robot can get object quickly. And then mission number three, robot can deposit directly after the inventory full or has fulfilled its statement. So this is the tools that Paul's Bow use is the first one is Dev C and the second is Cospas Robot Studio for debugging and of course to simulate the program to robot. So let's more complex. Uh, we're getting into AI algorithm. The first AI we call Go Deposit and Go Super Object. It's that recording algorithm. Simply that recording is used trigonometry formula. We find the delta of position x and delta of position y from two different positions, right? Uh, then use the formula of hypotenuse. After that, we can get the degree by using the formula arctan of y divided by x as the value of robot spin. The second algorithm we call stock in barrel. We playing with the position values because the robot can give information about where the position is. Then we create some brands of values x axis and y axis from the map. If the robot gets over the values, the robot will make a turn or reverse movement, so the robot will not get out from the map. Okay, so the algorithm number three we call manage call because the robot can give information of duration. We collaborate on the new variable that called red objects, high an object, and black object to get information on how many objects are loaded. As we can see from the last video, the duration of the robot to loading the object it needs 66 seconds. So our teams is make a statement that uh, if the duration already over than 65 milliseconds. Uh, the value of the red object, cyan object, and bl or black object, it will be plus one. Okay, let's continue to debugging. During the play preliminary round, there was one problem that I had to solve. The problem is that robot needs to write direction flow to answer every challenge. I noticed that because the way of my robot was moving was ineffective, it caused it waste time processing object. I solved this problem by providing a more detailed program statement by considering its compass position, coordinate position, and color. This allows the program to work smarter so that it can run smoothly and in fact and effectively without wasting time. So yeah. Let's continue to the conclusion and view the world from the result obtained. We are not set. We still not satisfied because the result of 10 is still did not have a constant value and the highest score we get only 
1890. Some program statements are still unfinished and still fail due to lack of experience in maximizing the given GUI. And I hope that in the future we can apply the Jigstra algorithm because uh, we think this is really par really powerful algorithm and we can collaborate the program with OpenCV in regulating the flow direction of the robot. How is the learning experience? Participating in RoboCup competition is really fun, was really fun, but it's really stressful too because my team have to balancing the competition with academic activity in my college and then it's really improved my sense of competition and improved my ability uh, to develop robots. With a very short time we prepared for this competition, there is still much we can develop more and I hope we can develop stronger program in the next RoboCop or future. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you.